Hey everybody, 4 Before Diesel Sundays. Yes, it is Sunday and we've just installed a little water filter, a tap and a filter. Took about 20 minutes. I just want to let you know where I got it. Been getting filters and taps off this guy for about 20 years and other people I know. Um, knows his business, he's got everything you need, puts the kit together. In case you're interested, Pure Water on Tap is the name of the business and uh, I think it's Keel or Road around, you know, Nidri there somewhere. This is the latest tap they recommend, right? So butter bing. Really easy installation. First thing I did, drilled a hole through there, started off with a small pilot hole. You know, it's stainless, so it's hard drilling. You're gonna need some decent drill bits. I think it ended up at about 11 and a half mil or something to fit that through. Obviously put your nuts through the other side. It's all pretty well explained on the paperwork. Now, once you do that, you do need to find your water source. So we we'll go down under here. The water source was the, the tap where the water comes into the tink, sink, can't even speak really, sink supply. And you can see there's a little T piece that he supplies, see that one there with a W on it, right? Whatever that brand is, I don't really care, but he puts the kit together. Basically remove your flexible line carefully. It's a 24 mil, or in most um, plumber sizes, that's a shifter. Um, remove the flexible line carefully, make sure the seal's still there and it's in good condition. Put the new T-piece in and just replace that. And then you've got your little bypass. Now, um, once you put your tap in around this side, that's what it'll look like, okay? Um, that's underneath the sink there, so you just got that little hand screw, there's an extra nut. You don't really need it, but I just chucked it up there. Um, and your blue lines, they just push straight into the connector, that comes with it. Obviously that runs through to the other side. Inside here we've got two filters. On the left side is the pre-filter, I think it's about one micron, mainly gets rid of dirt. And the filter I've gone with, lots of different options. And quality made in USA, right? See that? Just have a look at that. You don't want to know where it's made. Okay, that's probably, you know, information you need to... Look at as well, watermark certificate. So it's all quality stuff. Joe's a plumber, or used to be, and he started this water filter business is my memory understanding of it. Anyway, so your water. So now the line, I've just run it, goes behind, it comes in, that's where it comes in. So this is your pre-filter, that's your 0.4 micron. If you worry about the fuel for your vehicle, you should probably worry about the fuel for your body and make sure it's clean. Then that line goes up and around there and out to the tap, as you can see. So really easy, these just push on. There's some little red clips, bit of an emergency thing, these little red clips, you just pop these in and it, cause to release these, all you've got to do, you know, those fittings that you push up and you push on that and you don't want uh, that accidentally getting unclipped by any lines just moving around, whatever. So we're going to pop all those clips each side. That's all included in the kit. The kit, how much was it? I think it was about, oh, I've forgotten already. They're about 300 bucks, less than 300, I think. I think it might be somewhere about the 300 mark anyway, right? Forgotten already. So that includes your tap, your blue hoses, your T-piece, all your filter housings, two filters inside, butter bing, butter boom, around about 330, something like that maybe. I just think, you know what? You don't know what's coming out of your tap these days. You might be interested. You might already have a filter. You might want something different. You might want to upgrade. Go and see Joe or give him a call. I'm sure he'll post this stuff out. There it is. There's the phone number, right? This wasn't planned. It's not sponsored. It's just me. I spent my money. I think it's a good business. Well established. It's been there a while. And this is 4 Before Diesel Sundays. That's what I just did. Took me about 20 minutes. Thanks for watching, people. See ya. All right, so I've got the red clip in place there. One red clip there. One red clip there. Red clip there. And one on the bottom there. Looks like I'm one short for the one on the top. That does clip directly onto the tap as well. Right, you can see a bit of water's been getting down there. Whoever did the dodgy kitchen El Cheapo bodgy installation, no silicon. That clamp behind it wasn't even installed. I just fixed that up. I think I might check the rest. I might have to pull the whole sink out and put some silicon on there. Not In good. case you are interested, pure water on tap. Speak to Joe. Tell him Anthony sent you. Say Anthony said good day. You got a choices of a lot of different filters depending what water supply. Whether you're on tank water, you can get these filters for bacteria for tank water. Butter bing, butter boom. Each one is up to you. Hope you like 4 Before Diesel Sundays. Catch you later on with another 4 Before Diesel video. Hit the like button if you learnt something or liked it. And uh, subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to see stuff more related on motor vehicles normally. But we've got this thing called 4 Before Diesel Sundays where we do crazy stuff like this.